So yeah, about that ending on the last video. The ads p being placed on my videos is just for the purpose of, you know, some earning some extra cash on the side. YouTube actually does that. Yay. That's a good source of income. That is, if you earn enough. <laughs> yeah. On my level right now, I earn so little it is not even funny. Alright, let's get this place powered up because we're low on energy on something. Proton Collider. We meet again. Um, maybe I should go another direction this time. <laughs> Yeah, let's change that up. <laughs> that was fun. One ring down, one more to go. Oh, subtraction. Eh, no worries. <laughs> the Kuna Matata. Oh, I watched The Lion King so many times when I was a kid. That was a really good movie. I'm pretty sure it's out on Blu-ray right now, isn't it? I probably, I maybe, I may go buy that. I just gave way to be a king. Oh, I love that song. Figgy was like this guru monkey thing. Guru. Oh. I've heard those vision quests can be quite taxing. Especially when you hear spirits or gods or something talking to you from the sky. Or gliding like a bird through like this other crazy dimension of earth and something or someone or another. It's kind of weird. <laughs> there are no mission clues on this floor. Let's go to another floor. About to go, <clears throat> it's about to get wild or tribal or something. Something. Stand back now while I sense the place out. No doubt about it, there's a clue in the observatory. Me want honeycomb. Nah, never mind. That went out in the early 2000s. <laughs> I still like honeycomb cereal, but, um, uh, I just don't buy it as much anymore. Stand back now while I sense the place out. No doubt about it, there's a clue in the observatory. I thought he said that. Yeah, <laughs> I should pay attention to the game more. Let's go. Is it true that black holes send you into another dimension if you go through them? I don't know. But the only thing that doesn't... Time to act. We haven't completed all... 
and that doesn't go through a black hole as a TARDIS. That is, if you really believe the uh, Doctor Who lore. Recently, Doctor Who was moved to uh, Amazon Video for some reason. Plus, there was some, I don't know, copyright issue or something? Well, anyway. Also, but it's still on iTunes. Well. You keep on you are on BBC iPlayer. Isn't that only available in the UK? I can't make hide nor hair of this message. <clears throat> Hopefully the Excuse coder me. can help sort it out for us. Click and drag the blocks of words to create a complete sentence. A fish goat, huh? Now, where have I heard of that one before? You know what? Let's talk something else other than Doctor Who. Yeah! <laughs> or maybe we should. I mean, I get why so many people like it. I mean, yeah. Free your mind. No, that's not right. <laughs> Uh. I said I was laughing. Great. You decoded the entire hint. Have you ever seen a fish goat? I am a goat with the tail of a fish. I scamper and I swim across the sky. Please don't laugh at my funny shape. Great. You hmm. unscramble Polly's hint. Now let's go to the star chart and figure out where she sent our clue. Isn't a goat man thing called a fawn? No, there was another word for it. We got missions to complete. There was another word for it. There was a, uh, um, oh, I know that's from the, um. You need to figure out which constellation Polly sent uh, her father's spaceship to. Click on the star chart. Click on any of the constellations, and this machine will tell you a little bit about them. Polly's clue should help you figure out the right constellation. If you think you know it, then click on the constellation again. Uh, I think it was something in the Percy Jackson books. Something, um, Seder. That's it, Seder. <laughs> I think that's the Greek name or something. And the fawn is the Roman one, right? Ugh, they're so darn similar. Um Pupus represents the stern or back of the Argo. The Argo was powered by fifty oars. Jason and the Argonauts sailed across the Black Sea in the Argo to steal the Golden Fleece. That sounds familiar. Tucana is named after the beautiful Toucan, a bird from South America with a very large bill. Hmm. Hydras is the little cousin of Hydra. Both are monstrous water snakes. I don't... Capricorn is a goat with the tail of oh. a fish. In the ancient Middle East, Capricorn appeared in the winter sky. The fish tail represented the rains of winter. It was hoped that the half of Capricorn representing the goat would scamper out of the sky and take the rainy winter with him. Oh... I was thinking it was Captain Corn, but I wasn't sure. Hey, you're right on target. Here comes the spaceship. Set down. Wow, that was wicked. Just put the clue into the inventory and let's get. All right, we got all the mission clues. Now all we need is enough invention points. We need one thousand total. Robot maze again. 
Oh, we're back with the. Another box down the there. Should we um, investigate and see if Polly has left a mission clue here? Sorry, Polly. That box doesn't have one of your precious mission clues. Just a few invention points I had lying around my room. Ugh, I'm not amused, Polly. Uh, that Polly can be very obnoxious sometimes. Enough said. Um, so south to, I can go one, two, three, south three. Oh, I can do this. Sometimes our moms hide the eggs, but not sometimes. Embrace my weirdness. I can be very weird sometimes. I always get into a weird um, situation whenever I try to be funny. I try to avoid them, but I guess I can't. <laughs> Fantastic! The robot made it through the maze. You are some slick programmer. Hey, I know C plus plus. Let's take the invention points and. Yay! We made it. We got all the clues. We've got enough invention points. Now let's go into the time machine. All right, things are going well. Control. Let's rescue this bot already. Ready for another spin of the wheel? Just click on the on button. Ready for another brain-twisting, mind-boggling edition of Hollywood Squares? I hope so, because this is the only way to rescue your robot friend, Slobot, and bring him back to the future. Your first clue is a pair of eyeglasses. It will help you see what this mission is about. Just imagine what life was like for millions of people before the invention of eyeglasses. Instead of birds, they saw fuzzy blobs shooting across the sky. Eyeglasses can help a nearsighted person see what? You're off to a good start. Nearsighted people can clearly see things that are near, but not things that are far away. Yeah. What do you call a cloud that comes in contact with the ground? Being nearsighted for me is very unnerving. Let's say that. Fantabulous! There is no basic difference between fog and clouds. In both cases, the moisture in the air forms drops of water around tiny specks of dust. What could help you examine the drops of water that make up fog? You know the kind of cloud that is needed to, uh, that makes the thunderstorm? Cumulonimbus. What was it? Cumulostratus. I was just you. Oh, I forget. <laughs> oh boy. So far, so very good. <laughs> Microscopes have lenses that magnify things and make them look bigger. The invention of the microscope is what this mission is all about. Magnificent. Didn't we already know that? Now we Ow. know. Polly sent Slobot to foul up the invention of the microscope. Uh, of course she did. What else she would do? Your second clue is a flea. The flea will show you when the microscope was invented. A flea can jump 12 inches into the air. That's a hundred times taller than its body. What do fleas feed on? They're out to suck your blood, they are. Like vampires. That's right. Fleas bite animals and suck their blood for dinner. 
What is the process called that moves blood from the heart to the rest of the body? You know, there's a vampire in Big Bad Beetleborgs. That way, he seems a bit more funny than. Oh, out to the. Uh, uh, actually, never mind. He's a bit more scary. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Um, was he meant to be scary? Type A answer. <laughs> <laughs> circulates around your body. The heart is the pump that keeps blood moving. The circulation of blood was discovered around 1630, 44 years before the invention of the microscope. When was this microscope invented? Mm. Magnificent! Scientists had tried to create microscopes for years but in 1674, one scientist made a real breakthrough. A microscope so powerful, it unveiled life forms invisible to the naked eye. Cool. Poor Slobot. He'll be forced to see all the invisible life forms on his dirty body. That's a fate worse than rust. All <laughs> we need to do is figure out who we have to find in history and where. Then we can rescue Slobot. The third clue is a cork. It will show you where the microscope was invented. In 1665, a scientist named Robert Cook looked at a little piece of cork under a magnifying glass and discovered cells. Cells are the smallest parts of plants and animals. Where does cork come from? I believe he called them cells because he, uh, um, I don't know if I should mention this because this is pertaining to religion and, and maybe some other time <laughs> or uh, all right perhaps I'll explain that later yes cork comes from the smooth bark of a tree you can tell how old a tree is by counting its rings which part of the tree has rings? Um. So, a cell is like a room. Uh, a small room. Like a jail cell, for instance. But the reference this guy made with this discovery has a more religious origin. He kind of looks like a cell that a nun's used to sleep in. You know a nun? Um, yeah, that's all very, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Right again! Every ring in the wood stands for a year's fresh growth. Wood is used for many things, for building, for paper, and for fuel. In which country do people wear shoes made from wood? Huh? Uh, oh, I see what he's saying. Jawohl! Holland, or the Netherlands, is a European country known for windmills and canals. Farmers in Holland wear wooden shoes to keep their feet clean and dry. It was also in Holland that the microscope was invented. Slobot's in Dutch. One more clue and we'll have all the information we need to save him. Your fourth clue is a telescope, and if you answer correctly, it will reveal who invented the microscope. One day, an eyeglass maker in Holland held up two eyeglasses and noticed that the town church looked much closer through them. He had accidentally invented the telescope. Which part of the telescope makes faraway things look closer? That's right. A lens makes things look bigger or smaller. What are telescope lenses usually made from? I believe a concave um, mirror, like a, like an almond shape like thing, lets you see farther and a um no that's not right the the concave 
No, I'm getting that wrong. I'm, I'm getting that wrong. Hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> That's right. It takes great skill to make successful glass lenses. Which inventor from Holland made lenses as a hobby? You know... Oh, the concave is more like the, the skinny lens, where that allows you to see far away. Where the almond shaped um, lenses make you see closer, like something up close. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, microorganisms, for instance. Yeah. Excellent. Leeuwenhoek's hobby made him world famous when he used one of his lenses to make a microscope. He was the first person in the world to see bacteria and other small creatures that had previously been invisible to people. So that's it. We know everything we need to find Slava. I wonder what Polly programmed him to do to poor Leeuwenhoek. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Leeuwen Hook. Well, this is it. The journey into time. Click on me to start the trip. It's time to visit Leeuwen Hook's laboratory in Holland. Can't wait to see through the lens of his microscope. That's still gross, oh, though. There's no place like home. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. It does my CPU chip good to know that I've helped bring these guys back where they belong. Yay. Yeah, watch me. Okay, pick up the quiz disc and click on the inventory. That's the only way to see what more is in store for us. All right, we still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on the inventory to start a mission. That was fun. Yeah. But, yeah, I suppose I should take a break from that. Yeah. But not too long this time, I hope. Yeah. See you next.